So here's how my day's going. We fix this. It ended up being a bad ground. Oh, you can't see in there, but it ended up being a bad ground, bad body ground. The ground that went from my negative down to the frame was broke. So we ran a new one from there all the way to the back, ground it to the frame here, right where the pump is. So the pumps, it, it killed two birds, one stone. So the lights, everything are much brighter now, everything's great. But I went to leave the house this morning to go to the gym, go get my hair cut, and then come home and start detailing this skag. Okay, you got the blower unit, everything here. Start detailing this so I can get a bunch of pictures and put this thing up for sale. Um, and I kept hearing this winding noise coming from the back like I did yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video. Well, I think my universal joints are bad, so I got new ones of those. They're in the truck. But the more I started listening to it, it sounds to me like the pinion bearing on the pinion gear inside the rear end is bad because i used to have a jeep and it's the exact same noise it made when that went um, which isn't that bad of a deal it's just a pain in the ass and it's one more thing i gotta deal with right now so right now i'm uh i'm just done hold on you're dirty i'm just done i'm just i don't want to deal with these trucks anymore i mean it's been one thing after the next with the plow truck this winter you guys know and now this truck, I oh, just don't want to deal with it. So I'm putting that to the side right now because I don't have to have that truck. I could drive the other one. Um, I will need it to start towing my trailers for the season. I can use the other one, but I'd rather use this one because it has the dump bed for all the grass that I bag. But um, I just decided I'm going to bring this skag up today anyway. I'm going to take care of the skag and I'm not going to think about these damn trucks. I just don't want to deal with it right now. Um, my wife just texted me and asked me how my day was and I told her and she goes don't you think it's about time you just go to a dealer and buy one truck that can do both things so a heavy duty truck that also has a dump that I can put my grass in but I can also plow with the same truck and just get rid of these two older trucks and I think she's right I just I don't like payments everything I have I paid for in cash all my mowers all the trucks every, I paid everything in cash I don't like payments Ugh. Let's take care of this skag. Well, you guys will get a little bit of an idea here how dirty it is. Um, I just, uh, I pre-wet it just with water. And what I'm about to do next is spray it down. I take purple power and I put it in a pump sprayer and I just spray it down. I let it sit on there for about 10 minutes. Yeah, that wheel right there on the side of the deck, that is, uh, it always gets the worst when you're side discharged, and that rim is always worse than the, any of the other ones. But anyway, um, I'm going to start spraying this thing down with some purple power. It's the easiest way. I put a whole gallon right in that one gallon pump sprayer, pump it up, and it allows me to evenly spray the entire engine. I do, or the entire mower. I do everything. They say don't spray it on the engine, don't spray it on the hydraulics. I, I hit everything. Always have, always wheel. <laughs> wheel always will never an issue i just spray everything down and uh and all around the engine is where i spray the most um because i really wanted to eat the the grease away because i don't use high pressure on the pressure washer when i'm around the engine i just lightly mist over it so i need that degreaser in there to really do its job and to really eat that stuff away for the most part you don't even need a pressure washer uh, once you put this stuff on, I clean all my mowers once a week, usually in the summer. I try to anyway, but what I do is I spray them down like this, and I usually use a garden hose with a high-pressure tip on the hose, and it does the job. I don't scrub nothing, no hand washing, no nothing. This just eats right through it. Um, you guys know I used to use other stuff. I can't remember the name of it, uh, some degreaser, and it started to fade the paint on some of my mowers. This stuff here does not. All right, well, stuff's still running off it, but <laughs> it's actually not too bad. Inside the wheels, I mean, there's stuff in there. It needs to come off, but the front of the deck ain't too bad. That wheel came a lot cleaner. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect, but it needed a bath bad. So... I mean, there is, let me turn this key on. I don't know if we can see that or not, but there is 379.6 hours. So, 
It is a 2016 and there's 379 hours. So, what would you guys, with a 52 inch velocity deck, full weight kit, full blower bagger system, three bag unit, okay? This mower has everything on it that I could get for it. It has a suspension seat on it, everything I could get on it, dual gas tanks. Um, the tires aren't even broken yet. Look at that, 379 hours. Look, how, look at these tires. They're still like brand new. You guys know how I am with oil changes, how meticulous I am with maintenance. I have three sets of blades. I have standard blades, super high lifts, not regular high lifts, but super high lifts, plus a set of G6 Gator mulching blades. So three sets of blades, full blower unit, vac system, full weight kit. Well, the weight kit usually only comes with three suitcase weights. I have extra ones, so there's five on there. Um, because when this really gets loaded up with wet grass in the spring, she likes to come up in the front when you're on an incline. So what would you guys pay for this? I'll tell you, brand new, out the door, when I bought this thing, not last summer, I bought it in August of 2016, okay? So I ran it for half of August, September, October, and November. And then last year, I don't know, I didn't run it all that much because I ran my walkers more than anything and I ran the Great Dane a lot. So, like I said, 379 hours in two years, that's not bad at all on a commercial mower. But when I bought it out the door with bagging system and everything on it, not counting the extra sets of blades and stuff I have, I paid eleven thousand eight ninety six ninety two. That's exactly what I paid for it. I just looked at the slip in there the other day. So that's what I paid for it, brand new. Twelve thousand, roughly. And it needs absolutely nothing. It just came out of the shop from service in the fall. Um, I sent it in and had it serviced. I had a hydro line that was leaking. They pulled it off, put a whole new one on, um, and then I had them flush the system out, put a new hydro pump on there. Or uh, hydro filter on there and new fluid i had them do it all because it's still under warranty so i'm gonna ask 8500 or best offer that's what i'm going for i think it's worth it i think it's well worth 8500 bucks if somebody gives me eight grand cash they can have it but i think it's well worth eight grand doesn't she look nice and pretty clean stuck tucked away back there that's a big ass mower <laughs> especially for only being a 52 inch stock that's a big mower it flies but anyway i know a lot of people are going to say why don't you keep it keep it as a backup you know this and that but i don't need it and uh i'm a solo guy guys <laughs> i have eight mowers seven eight mowers you know and one ass so you know, if I'm not going to use it, there's no point in me. I have limited space anyway. There, there's no point in me hanging on to it and it just sitting around and not getting used. And I'm not going to use it. I, You know, if I want to mow fast and side discharge, I have my Great Dane, which is great for it. I now have the 61 Ferris Walk behind with a quick adjust deck, which will be great for that. And I have the brand new B19 with the 56 inch side discharge deck, which again is great for that. So, you know, I have no need. And if I'm bagging anything, I'm bagging with my walker. You know, hands down, the walker is what I want to bag with. It's, uh, you know, it has its areas where it doesn't bag so great when things are really wet and you're trying to cut it down low, whereas this one will. But at the same time, when you're bagging with the walker, you get up near leaves and stuff in the fall and it literally pulls them to the deck and sucks it right up under, whereas this... You get tons of blowout no matter where I adjust that baffle up and down. So this is a phenomenal mower, you know, and it has its place. But so are my walkers and my other mowers. And where this has its place, I have three other mowers that will do the same exact thing. So, you know, those mowers aren't worth what this one is worth. But they definitely do the job. And I don't 
owe any money on any of them either so I might as well sell this while I can get a good dollar for it and go from there <laughs>